Well, it seems as if the QAnonification of the modern Republican Party is nearly complete. And I say that because we're about to watch a video from Candace Owens where she goes on an unhinged rant that is so bizarre that I, I feel like if somebody said this in 2010 that wasn't Alex Jones, everyone would have collectively mocked them. But now what we're going to see is a highly visible mainstream GOP propagandist saying things that are just outright delusional, saying things so bizarre and unhinged that I can't not think that she's unwell if she genuinely believes this. But I don't actually think that Candace Owens believes anything that comes out of her mouth. I think she's a grifter saying what she feels as if she needs to say to appease the right-wing audience that she's cultivated. But either way, we'll watch, and then I will try to break down this word salad that we're going to see her vomit into a crowd of, I'm assuming, hundreds of people. Well, I am a big believer that they intentionally killed people in hospitals during COVID. They wouldn't let family members in there to make decisions for them. I personally saw when I went to an asthma clinic that they would not give me life-saving asthma treatment because breathing was not allowed, even though they had the nebulizer. Um, and if they had not sent an ambulance, I mean, I, I would, asthma attack is about like, you've got a very short window of time. I was having an asthma attack and the doctor had the life-saving medicine and said that the CDC had barred them from giving it to me. So there was no question um, that they colluded to kill American citizens so that they could fluff numbers and say that people died of COVID. I do. I still, to this day, question the use of ventilators. It makes entirely no sense. People needed oxygen, not compression on their chest when they were dealing with something that's in their chest. Um, so from top to bottom, yes, uh, our government wanted people to die. There's no question uh, because it fed the narrative. Yeah, and and it, it's a, it's the, we're talking about crimes against humanity. People should face uh, long prison sentences. People people should face tribunals because of what they did during COVID. Um, and not even that, the masking of children, the treatment of special needs kids that were being forced to be masked on planes that were having, uh, you know, essentially the trauma that was put to people on a psych, on a psychological level. Uh, to me, should bring forth tribunals. Uh, people like Bill Gates and Dr. Fauci should be in prison. Rachel Walensky among them. This was corruption top to bottom. And it was all done because they had already predestined the vaccine, right? They did deny treatment. They denied the use of hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin. Uh, the media was complicit in it. And it infuriates me. It infuriates me the amount of people that were allowed to die and to suffer when there were medicines that worked because they knew that they could not get emergency use authorization if there was any treatments that worked. So they needed people to just die for a while. Um, and that is exactly what happened. And it makes me sick to my stomach to even think that we're, we're having to say that today. Um, but we have criminals and, like I said, drug cartel leaders that are running our government. And it's despicable. I will not mince words when it comes to those awful human beings. Wow. I don't believe this like at all, just so you know. I don't even know where to begin. First and foremost, I have to point out that I feel like this is maybe her way of coping. I don't think that Candace Owens believes anything that she says, but I feel like she's got to have a guilty conscience, right? She told her audience not to get vaccinated, and I'm assuming a lot of them listened, and some maybe even died as a result of taking her medical advice. So she's got to be thinking, oh my God, I, I, I maybe killed people indirectly. So the way that she kind of makes herself feel better, perhaps, is to say, actually, I didn't kill people. The government killed people. But no, Candace, I mean, the blood isn't directly on your hands, but I think that you absolutely bear some responsibility for influencing people to not get the vaccine, as does any anti-vax grifter who was saying the same shit that you were saying. But here's what she says. I tried to distill the main parts of her conspiracy into into one part so this is going to go from like the beginning to the middle to the end but this is what she said overall and we'll kind of break th break this down i'm a big believer that they intentionally killed people in hospitals during covid now whenever somebody comes up with a conspiracy theory the question is well why and she answers that it's to feed the narrative and she explains this was all done because they had already predestined the vaccine, right? They denied treatment. They denied the use of hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, and the media was complicit. So the reason why they intentionally killed people in hospitals was to sell this vaccine to people. Okay, well, ivermectin didn't really become a thing until 2021. What about all the people that died in 2020? And the reason why people in hospitals weren't being given hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin was because they aren't effective at preventing or reducing sickness when it comes to COVID-19. What does 
reduce sickness is the vaccine, but that's what she's against. So you can take this entire argument, copy and paste it, and apply it to her. You can say that you're promoting ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine specifically because you have an anti-vax agenda. And that would actually be correct, right? What is this oh, feeding the narrative? We had to have more people die so we can convince people that COVID is so bad and scary that they get the vaccine. Except regardless of how bad it got, Republicans didn't care. And you still, many of you chose not to get the vaccine. So if they tried to kill people intentionally to feed this narrative for that purpose, they failed, wouldn't you say? I mean, I, the whole conspiracy itself doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Who's doing the killing in the hospitals, Candace? Is it government officials? Is it doctors? Is it nurses? Are they all colluding with Dr. Fauci to deny ivermectin and then laugh whenever another person dies of COVID? I mean, how exactly does this play out? You know, they're like, Mwahaha, another one died. They wanted ivermectin, but we didn't give it to them because they should have taken the vaccine. I, I just, it doesn't make sense, right? And even if, you know, uh, the vaccine was being pushed in this sinister way, I mean, there's demonstrable proof that people who got vaccinated were less likely to be hospitalized or die. So isn't it still kind of bad on your part to deny the vaccine? It's just, it, it's so brain dead, it's hard to even grapple with the substance here not that there's any substance here but it's difficult to try to dissect what she's saying here because of how moronic it is and then uh she also makes a very weird point about them trying to kill her so she says it infuriates me uh or no no she says they would not give me life-saving asthma treatment because breathing was not allowed and she claimed the doctor had the life-saving medicine and said that the cdc had barred them from giving it to me so I don't even know what any of that means. That's just word salad. There's, there's there's no value in those words, but essentially what I think she's trying to say is, oh, the doctor wanted to kill me because the CDC told them that I'm a threat to their pro-vax agenda. And so they said, don't give her asthma medicine. What are you even saying? What the fuck are you talking about? You're telling me that the doctor didn't give you nebulizer treatment because the CDC said don't give that to Candace or just don't give that to people with asthma. What exactly are you trying to say? None of this makes sense. None of this makes any sense whatsoever, Candace. Do you understand you sound like a crazy person when you say shit like this? You understand that, right? I get that to your right-wing audience. They think, oh my God, what she's saying is, is crazy. This is groundbreaking information that she's giving us. But normal people who aren't in that crowd, who aren't in your bubble, see this and they think, oh my God, this person is unwell. She also said... It infuriates me the amount of people that were allowed to die. So now she's saying they were allowed to die, not intentionally killed, uh, that were allowed to die and suffer because they knew they could not get emergency use authorization if there were, were any treatments that works. So they needed people to just die for a while. And that is exactly what happened. Now, Candace Owen, she's purporting to care about unnecessary deaths. But, uh, you know, if she actually cared about preventing deaths, then she would join me in calling for a single payer healthcare system where healthcare is free at the point of service. Because how many people die unnecessarily every single year in America because they don't have healthcare? Thousands, literally tens of thousands. Uh, if she actually wanted to prevent unnecessary deaths, she would either join me in supporting the nationalization of American pharmaceutical companies or support the government buying all drugs and then distributing them to the population free of charge. Because if you can't have some medications like insulin, then you die if you can't afford it. So she would actually support these policies that would save lives. But she doesn't. She, she would call Medicare for all socialism. Can't have socialism, so people have to die. Right, right, Candace. You care about unnecessary deaths. Sure you do. Sure you do. And she claims that people were allowed to die because that's the way that they got the vaccine to get emergency use authorization. But I mean, if the government was concocting this nefarious plot to push the vaccine, wouldn't they also go one step further and just like buy off the CDC to get or the FDA rather to get emergency use authorization? Why would they have to let people die? If they're that evil, wouldn't they just like bribe officials? I mean, if you're if you're really talking about this as a legitimate grand scheme here to push the vaccine, 
they had to do all this and let people die just to get emergency use authorization. Wouldn't they just subvert that somehow? It's so bizarre how like they're so evil that they're willing to intentionally kill people or let people die, whichever interpretation she wants to go with based on what she's talking about. But at the same time, they have to follow the rules and make sure that they before they distribute the vaccine, they get emergency use authorization. It's just so fucking stupid. No, we want to kill people, but we're going to make sure that we adhere to rigorous testing and trials before we apply for emergency use authorization. Like the conspiracy theory makes no fucking sense. It makes no sense, but it doesn't need to make sense because her audience isn't going to dissect it in the way that I am. They're just going to gobble it up and think, oh my God, she's right. They're killing people because they want to push the vaccine. No, idiots. It's the opposite. The vaccine is saving lives. Holy shit. Now, uh, she also said there was no question they colluded to kill Americans so they can fluff up the numbers. They killed Americans just to fluff up the numbers. Wow. And say that people died of COVID. I still, till this day, question the use of ventilators. It makes entirely no sense. People need oxygen, not compression in their chest when they're dealing with something that's in their chest. Candace, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You are not a medical professional. You're not trained in any way, shape, or form on these types of issues. So the fact that you and your expertise don't understand what ventilators are used for, that means nothing. That means nothing. It's who gives a shit. A fart is as qualified as you are to talk about ventilators. But she says that people were literally killed in hospitals just to fluff up the numbers. Now, this goes steps further than that conspiracy theory that the right has. It's orders of magnitude worse because I heard that the GOP thought that, well, they were just saying that these deaths from car accidents and whatnot were actually COVID deaths because they wanted to fluff up the numbers. But Candace is saying, no, 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 they actually were killing people just to fluff up the numbers. Candace, if they're willing to go that far, if they're willing to kill people literally to inflate the numbers, if they're that evil, why wouldn't they just inflate the numbers, just make them up like that, pull them out of thin air? Would they really go through all of the effort to kill people and risk getting caught? I mean, all you have to do is think about this unhinged conspiracy for like two seconds and you understand that you have to be mentally unwell to believe that it's valid. It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. It's stupid. Again, I feel like, and this is me psychoanalyzing Candace Owens, I feel like she just feels guilty that her actions, her medical advice got people killed indirectly. She told them not to get the vaccine. A lot of them listened and they died because they rejected a life-saving vaccine because people like Candace Owens fear-mongered about it. That's got to be what this is, right? And she goes from talking about crimes against humanity where people should face tribunals for what they did to talking about the masking of children as if purposefully killing people and masking children are morally comparable. I mean, if you want to really talk about the gravity of this horrible thing that you're unearthing, that you're telling all of your audience about, wouldn't you like not put masking of children in the same fucking category as if that is the same thing as killing people? I just feel like you have to be dumb to listen to what she says and think, wow, she's really onto something. She's making a point. Like you have to actually not know how to reason, not have any logic or common sense in your brain to hear that and think, man, she's crushing it right there. She's a truth teller. But there are millions of Americans who hear that and think, wow, I need to share this with someone because this is if this is true, then this is a huge scandal. They're killing people in hospitals. I mean, imagine the effect that this is going to have. You have hospital workers who work their ass off, suffer from depression because of multiple COVID waves made worse in large part due to Republicans who were, you know, against masking and vaccinations, which would have mitigated it to an extent. Uh, and now they're being demonized by Candace Owens. Oh, they're killing people in hospitals. Who's killing them? The doctors, the nurses. Have you ever talked to a nurse or a doctor? They're normal people who actually want to help people. It's just, I don't know what to say. Brainworms. Ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.